Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sahar. I am a 1L at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I will also link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me elsewhere. But today's video is going to be another law school week in my life. It is currently Monday. It's 7.37 a.m., and you guys are probably wondering, Sahar, don't you have tours this morning at 8.30? Why are you not ready? Let me tell you guys, I don't have torts today. And it feels so, so good. I got to sleep in till like 7.30. I actually woke up at 6 as usual, thinking I would go to the gym today. But it was like 29 degrees this morning, and I just couldn't be bothered. So I will go to the gym after classes today instead. So I got to sleep in a little bit and it felt so, so good. So my first class isn't until 10.30. So I still have three hours and I think I'm gonna do some property readings for Wednesday. I am pretty ahead of all my readings. I also turned in my closed memo yesterday, which was terrifying. Like honestly, I had a pit in my stomach the rest of the day after turning it in because it's my first like graded law school assignment and so it was pretty nerve wracking but I'm glad that I have that out of the way. So today is actually gonna be a pretty chill day. I feel, I feel great. I feel great this morning. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good week. I just got home. I went to the gym like right after school, so I didn't really get a chance to update you guys in between. But yeah, I feel like I haven't talked to you since like I woke up. I didn't even show you guys my outfit. I really liked my outfit. I thought it was really cute. Um, I had this like scarf thing and a black shirt, whatever. I did take like a painfully awkward picture to send to my boyfriend because he wanted to see my outfit. So if I'm not highly embarrassed, I'll insert that picture here. But um, yeah, I, I really did like the outfit, but I just, I don't know. I feel like I lost track of time today and a lot has happened since the last time we chatted because this morning I was calm, I was chill, nothing was going on. And now things have been at a decline, a steady decline since I got to school because people started talking about the open memo and then we were talking about judicial externships and I had a meeting um, for judicial externships where I basically learned that I need to be doing everything next month and I'm not ready for that. Uh, I also learned about a bunch of diversity externship positions where the applications literally open November 1st and they're not on a rolling basis but like you need to apply early, so I have to start on that. And it was just one thing on top of another, and I was just disheveled all day today, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel a lot better now that I went to the gym. So I think I'm gonna shower, and then I'm so glad I did my property readings this morning because honestly, I don't really have a mental capacity to do it right now so i'm going to shower eat dinner and then probably hang out for about an hour and then i think i'm gonna get started on planning when i want to apply to certain things and just get a little organized i feel like when i'm really overwhelmed so this can be a tip if you guys are overwhelmed i find that it really helps to get everything down on paper. I will literally take a scrap piece of paper or just like notes on my laptop and I will write down every single thing that I need to do in however, like in whatever time period. I will write down every single thing and this can seem like counterproductive because you're writing down like 
20, 30 things that you feel like you have to do, but it really helps me to kind of like drop some assignments here and there throughout my weeks and just like plan and prep. So that's what I like to do. So I'm going to do that tonight. I want to take a look at our open memo material. We have client interviews this week. So I really need to start thinking about what questions my like attorney group wants to ask our make-believe client and we have to conduct our interview on Wednesday. So lots to do tonight, a lot going on. I'm feeling a little down because of how my day just declined rapidly, but I am feeling optimistic at the same time and just like, I can do it. If I just step back, plan out everything, I know I'll be fine and that's just what I gotta keep reminding myself, so. Good morning, everyone. Happy, what day is it? Tuesday, <laughs> October 18th. Um, I'm, I'm functioning a little slow this morning because I accidentally slept in till like 6.40 when I wanted to get up at 6 and get some work done. But that's okay, we're still gonna make today productive. I have a three hour break today in between my classes and so I'm hoping to go to the library and get a ton of work done during then. I'm gonna see right now if there's like a study room that I can book and maybe I'll do like a little study with me montage type thing at school. Yeah, I did some research on the issue that we have and then I started thinking about what questions I need to ask the client based on those issues. I've only gotten a couple of questions down, but I think I'm meeting with my group today um, and we'll see if they have any ideas and kind of their thoughts on the situation. So I feel pretty decently about that. I'm not too worried about the client interview. I think we'll be fine. And then I have crim rating for tomorrow that I need to do. I also really want to update my crim outline today, like in full detail, because in class yesterday, he was asking us questions about things we learned last week and the week before. And I could not for the life of me recall what was going on. And so I think doing an in-depth read of my outline and updating my outline and making sure it has all the details it's up to date i also want to add parts and sections of the model penal code that we've talked about into my outline before i wasn't doing that i was only putting kind of the general gist of things but i've come to realize that i don't want to be like flipping it to the back of my casebook during the exam and so having the section that is relevant for each topic in there already like verbatim would be really helpful for me so i'm going to do that later today as well so we've got a lot going on i also have plans to study with a friend tonight um and i'm hoping to get a lot of work done then as well so lots going on today lots of productivity but i still have to finish drinking my coffee eat my breakfast and get ready for the day and it's already 7.40, so I'm, I'm working a little slow today, but it's okay. We will, we will get things done. Good morning, everybody. It is now Wednesday. Yeah, I just forgetting what freaking day of the week it is because I just feel confused all the time. So it is 7.41 a.m. I'm just making some breakfast. I got ready. I have to wear business casual today so I slacks on and stuff um, because I have my client interview. I don't know if I talked about it. Honestly, I can't remember what I talked about yesterday. I don't even think I updated you guys when I got home because I was just super busy. Um, my friend came over and we studied together for a little while and then I just FaceTimed my boyfriend and hung out with him for the rest of the night. I did get a lot 
done yesterday which feels really good i updated like an entire chunk of my crimla outline which felt really good and i think that's going to be my priority for the rest of the week is just getting that outline updated and make it just good and also do some active reviewing of that class because i think that class is the one that i'm struggling the most in so i want to make sure i'm putting in the extra work for that class um other than that don't really have much else going on today i looked at i looked at my schedule for next week in terms of reading and i have a ton of reading next week. I don't know why, but all the professors banded together and said we are going to give the most reading we've given all semester next week. So I'm going to try to get a head start on that. I think I'm going to try to do crim for Monday, which is like ridiculous, like 25 or 30 pages. But we're going to get through it. So I'm going to try to do that today. But I think other than that, like that's pretty much it. It's just my crim outline, trying to get ahead on my readings for next week. Um, I do have a meeting with my TA. Ooh, that reminds me to go make an appointment with my legal writing TA. But I have an appointment with my TA. I say appointment. It's his office hours. But, like, I emailed him saying, like, hey, I'm coming to do this. Like, can we go over this? Because I typed up a sample answer for one of the um, issue spotters that our professor posted on Canvas. And I asked him if I could come to office hours and go over my answer. And he said yes. So I'm going to be doing that on Friday. So sometime, probably tomorrow, I need to just go in and, like, kind of tweak my answer, perfect it. Um, it said we were only supposed to take 30 minutes on that question, but obviously like I haven't done exam prep yet, so it took me a lot longer and I also am trying to make the answer as perfect as possible so that I have the best idea of what she's looking for on an exam. So I'm going to do that, but I have rambled on enough. I am going to go now, eat my breakfast. We've got oatmeal with peanut butter as always and i will update you guys later it's a busy week i like how on monday i said it was gonna be a chill week and now all of a sudden there's a lot going on so that's law school everybody you think it's gonna be chill it's not it's never chill but it's okay i love it all right i'm actually gonna go now because i'm procrastinating because i don't want to go to school guys so <laughs> it's now almost five o'clock it has been a day let me tell you it started off fine great even my crim class actually got canceled so I had a ton of time to get some reading done did I manage to finish my crim reading for Monday no because there's so much that I just I couldn't do it all I did like maybe two-thirds of it but I still have like 10 or 15 pages left so I really want to do that tonight um and even though our class got canceled today we're still doing the readings for today and then also Monday readings on Monday I'm really confused how they're going to jam that all in in an hour and 15 minutes but I guess we'll find out and so that was fine and then I went to this debate I don't really even know what happened I just went there because there was free barbecue so I got a brisket sandwich and I actually, they gave me um, another one. So I'm gonna eat that for dinner. Uh, so that was good. And then I had my um, client interview and it went fine. Like it was fun. She just said we did well, but there was some feedback that she gave that I definitely, like in hindsight was like, oh my gosh, yeah. Why did we do that? So I was kind of like beating myself up about it, which is like dumb because it wasn't even for a grade, <laughs> like whatever. But there were just some things where I like didn't even think about certain aspects. And yeah, and then also my torts practice problem. I don't think anyone talked about this, the, the issue. Like literally when she asked, no one raised their hand. So like I need to not beat myself up about this, but... 
I like completely missed an issue or a potential issue um, in the issue spotter or whatever. So that was a little frustrating. I really thought I had a better grasp on torts, but I keep telling myself like no one knew that that could be a claim. So I feel like kind of better about myself, but like I was still a little disappointed. This is a very, very long clip. I apologize, but sometimes you just need to vent. I feel like this is going to be a very chatty vlog, but it's okay. I'm going to go and I will update you guys later. everyone happy thursday i am in such a good mood today i think it's because i slept in i woke up at like oh gosh like probably like 9 a.m which i can't remember the last time i slept in that much but i feel so good so refreshed and energized i feel like that's exactly what i needed it is currently 11 16 a.m i'm just about to eat some lunch i have a little bit of leftovers of this like chipotle style taco bowl i made the other day and then i'm also gonna eat a little chocolate chip muffin these things are freaking delicious i got these at aldi but honestly any chocolate chip muffins are my favorite things they're just they're so good so i'm gonna eat that and then i'm gonna head to campus i don't have any classes today my legal writing class was canceled, but I do have a torts TA review session like I do every week. So I'm going to go to campus for that. And then I booked a study room for two hours after, after that review session. So I'm going to stay in the library and get a lot of work done. I've already done my property reading for Monday and I think... Um, when I go to the library, I'm going to try to get my torts reading done for Monday as well. That way I'll have all of my Monday readings done, which will feel so, so good because it's only Thursday. And then I really, really want to work on my torts outline because I have my second quiz of the semester due on Sunday. And I like to take the quizzes closed book, even though you don't have to, just to like simulate the actual exam because our final exam is closed book. So I want to kind of study as if I was studying that section that we've learned for the final, get a good review in, update my outline, and then also get a good sense of where I'm at when I take the quiz. So that's the game plan for today. If I have time, I'm going to do some other stuff too. But if I can get all those things done, I will be very happy. I do need to do laundry today. I feel like I do laundry in every single video. I don't know why. I, I just, I guess I wear a lot of clothes. I don't know. But I have to do laundry as always. And I would really like to clean my apartment. I have some dishes that I don't like seeing in the sink that I really want to do. And just kind of clean up today's very like chill still productive but i'm not spending the entire day just doing school so i feel like i have time to do other things i also want to cook today i guys if you guys didn't know i am canadian um like a canadian citizen i lived there for almost 10 years and and so that has like a very special place in my heart obviously and one thing about canada that i absolutely love is poutine if you haven't ever tried poutine i swear you are missing out it is like one of my favorite foods ever i love poutine so much and when my family went to greece this past summer we had our layover in montreal and on the way home we were able to get poutine and I haven't visited Canada since we moved, so I haven't had poutine in like years unless like when my mom made it. So it just it warmed my heart. Anyways, that is to say I found cheese curds, bought some fries. I don't have time to like cut my own potatoes. I could, but I'm lazy. So I bought like pre-made fries, don't judge me. And then I also bought some gravy mix and I'm gonna make poutine tonight. And it's going to be heavenly. I am so excited. That is what's going to get me through the entire day. It's just the fact that I get to come home and make and eat poutine. 
very excited. Hello everybody, it is now 3.15. I just got home. This lighting is horrible. Let's see, this might be a little better. I was so productive today. I am feeling so good. I ended up doing my torts reading for Monday and I fully updated my torts outline. I still have to type up my notes. I really wanna do that today. Um, just like some some of the classes this week, I just didn't have the time to type up my notes after I handwrite my notes. So um, I still need to add those to OneNote. But other than that, it's kind of just like cleaning my apartment, cooking, that kind of stuff for the rest of the evening. And then tonight I have virtual plans with some friends. So I think that's at six o'clock, either six or seven. So I still have a few hours to get a ton done. And then I can always do some more work after our little hangout as well. But I'm just feeling so good. I'm in the best mood. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. I just feel so good. I think it's because the weather is like my ideal weather. I love when it's in like the 50s and 60s and it's like windy or like just nice and breezy. It just feels so good outside and the leaves are falling and they're all like orange and red and just colorful and I'm just in a really really good mood today so I want to take advantage of that but right now I think I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry and cook poutine so excited um and watch an episode of tv um currently re-watching Gilmore Girls so I might watch an episode of that but Plan is to kind of hang out for a little while and then I will get started on some more work. Good morning everyone, welcome to Friday. I went to the gym this morning, I did a leg day and now I am very exhausted, but we've got a lot going on today in terms of just stuff I want to accomplish. So, so I have an hour before I need to leave, so I think I'm just going to drink my coffee and kind of chill, eat breakfast in a little bit and just mentally prepare for the day. I feel like I have a lot going on. I need to start on my research assignment for my open memo because that's due on Monday and I haven't even looked at it. And I also need to do some studying for torts because of my quiz on Sunday and just a couple of other like review outlining type things maybe try to do some readings for Tuesday, but that is unlikely. I also have a meeting with my torts TA at 11.15. Well, it's his office hours, but uh, we're going to go over a, an intentional torts hypo. I wrote up like my exam answer and we're just going to kind of look at it and see how well I did, what I can improve on, maybe some issues I missed, things like that. So that should be helpful, hopefully, and yeah. I almost completely forgot to talk about the fact that Taylor Swift's album dropped today. That was just incredible. I listened to it on the way to the gym and also during my workout and perfection. That woman can do no wrong in my eyes. So let me know down below if you listen to it when you think of her new album because I am a fan. But yeah. Now I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later.
sorry I look like this, but I'm editing this video right now and realized that I never filmed an outro. I swear I did. I just like don't know where it is, but coming on here to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you're having a wonderful morning or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.